What's going on everybody? It's everybody's favorite bite-sized YouTuber back at it again with another shop video and today we're working on the 73 Camaro. Now behind me, I, I, obviously I have the engine that's going in it, I have the car itself, and then I'm pretty sure most of these are for the 73 Camaro. Some of them are like repair panels and patch panels, stuff like that. And we're gonna kinda go through all of that. It's been a minute since I've touched this thing, so the goal for today is kinda figure out where we left off, what our next steps are, and how to kinda proceed from there. So I'm gonna pull it out, and we're gonna open up all the boxes and see what goes where. I also need to finish priming the inside of the car. As you guys saw last time, we did the sandblasting with uh, Atlanta Blasting Professionals, much appreciated. Uh, that was right before Christmas. Uh, I had a huge influx in orders for Christmas. I mean, over 200 orders, and it's left this place looking pretty, pretty rough. So I need to straighten this place up first. So I'm gonna do that first, and then we'll pull the Camaro out, and then we'll go from there. That's it. That's simple intro. Let's get, uh, let's get fucking started. Now the shop is a little bit more workable and the inside of the Camaro has been uh, primed so we don't have to worry about rust anymore, which is nice. I wasn't super worried about it since it hasn't been very wet lately. Don't have to worry about the humidity in the air like I do in the summer. If we did that in the summer, that would have rusted same day. So I have this big pile of parts over here. I'm just gonna kind of go through them and see what we have. It's, I've been collecting stuff for the Camaro for like a couple years now and I don't really remember what we have. Now this, I do remember though. Yeah, this is the complete carbon fiber front end that I got from Anvil Auto years ago. I still plan on running that. That is here, that's good. And it's, we need to keep this in a nice safe location, so we're gonna move this out of the way. What is this? I recognize this, I just don't recognize it exactly. Ah. Okay, this is a replacement panel where the license plate goes in the gas tank. So that's a lower rear replacement. That's nice. That was all sent out by Speedway Motors, by the way. They sent out a handful of repair pieces for me. This is very nice of them. Link for their stuff is in the description of this video. And I believe that this is the repair panel that goes on top of the trunk. This box got demolished, it looks like, but hopefully the piece is okay. All right, yes, this is an important repair piece. This is the whole rear. <laughs> what? Yo, they sent me just this piece and then the whole rear. Interesting, maybe that's in case I fuck up. Or maybe I ordered that a long time ago. This is the whole rear section, taillights and all. I've also been talking to another uh, guy that makes really cool custom taillights and we're trying to come up with a cool custom one-off idea for these as well, so. And then, okay, hell yeah. Core radiator supports. This is good, this is very important. The OEM one is obviously old and busted. I'll just switch everything over to this. I was considering powder coating the old one, but now I don't have to. Camaro cow vent grill. This is the last piece as well. I think this is the one repair piece that I really, really needed. Yes, it is. This is, this is what I really needed. So this, this is the top cowl. Now on top of all those repair panels as well, I have my T56 transmission. This has been rebuilt by my, my good friend, Mr. Mike. He rebuilt this for me. I also have my bell housing adapter. This got sent out by Holly Performance. Thank you very much, Holly, for always fucking with me. And they're updated bushings and engine mounts so we can mount that to the subframe. And I think this is the right transmission mount as well. Back in the day when they sent me out the transmission cross member for the subframe, I was torn between doing an automatic and a manual transmission because originally I was doing an automatic transmission. Now I'm gonna do manual transmission. So. I believe this is the right transmission mount as well for that. We have a lot of work ahead of us and I don't really know where to start. So in a previous video, I repaired this. This was completely rotted out right here. I, I'm very proud of this because I individually put this together by hand. I shaped all the metal. I think it looks pretty okay. You guys know that the A pillars up here and over there are completely rotted. 
this piece replaces that piece, just like that. That, is, that solves a ton of our problems, but it creates a lot more for me. Because honestly, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do this. This whole thing needs to just come off. Weld in the new one. I, I don't know how to, I, don't, I really don't know how to do this because this is, this is molded and then spot welded to multiple layers. To remove this appropriately, I would have to find and drill out each individual spot weld. And there are a ton of them. All along here, all along here, 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 here. And they just, it just, there's a ton of them, man. But I do know I wanna do this myself. So despite my reluctancy, I, uh, yesterday, I tried it out. I tried, uh, I was just giving it a test. I drilled out two of the rivets and, or the spot welds, and I got my pry bar up underneath it, and it popped the lip right off right there. And it was a lot easier than I was anticipating. Uh, I don't wanna say easier, but it took a lot less effort, and it was, it's pretty straightforward. I think I'm just gonna try it. I think I'm just gonna drill the holes. There's a bunch of them, so I expect it to go not, like, not super smooth, but like that's, that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, yeah, time to get to it. All right, so I went through and removed, there's a bunch of seam sealer between that top panel and the bottom panels. So I went ahead and removed that out. Most of it came out with a pry bar. Had I thought about this beforehand, I would have probably asked Austin with Atlanta Blasting, I probably would have asked him to uh, blast the top of this panel had I thought about it, but I didn't. There's a bunch of them, man. There is a bunch of them. So let's, uh, let's hope that goes well. Dang it, stop falling. Front section of this is almost pried up. Um, I'm drilling through until I can see a solid ring from the layers and then I'm prying that up. It is working for the most part, but I am doing some damage here. You see how it's like bending this little area for the pry bar? Now I can fix that. I have body hammers. I do know I can fix that. I'm competent in myself to be able to beat that nice and flat and straight. But I think that if I was more skilled long-term, I wouldn't have to pry as much. Maybe I'm missing a specific bit or some kind of specific tool that makes this just a little bit easier. But for the most part, this is pretty straightforward. You just drill the hole out, then you pop it. And it's also important to know, which we won't know until we start getting really down into it, but like some of this stuff, like this, on the repair panel, you see that this is just welded to the bottom of this, right? Where the uh, bolts will screw down. This is for your, oh, I can't remember if it's your hood. I think it might be your hood hinge goes here. But if you look, it's, it's mounted to the bottom side of this. So we'll be cautious of that. Maybe I won't have to do all these. So I won't have to do any of these, it looks like. Get a little bit of pry under there, you can see all the flex. So it looks like we just have along here, and then I know that there's a series of them along here, like dink, 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 we'll have to get rid of those. It's kind of hard to tell where the spot welds are. I kind of like, just assuming every dent is a spot weld, but some of the dents aren't spot weld. Some of them are just dents, right? <laughs> so I've got five maybe on this side left. Let's try them. So I got the whole front of this kind of pried up and peeled. I know it looks really bad. It's not as bad as it looks. I mean, I've done a, some minor bending 
to the lines here, but this is easily fixable with some body hammers. I, I'm positive I can fix that. Like 40-ish front of these spot welds are done. It looks like, from everything that I can see, we'll have some spot welds along here, and then along the seams of each one of those. And then that, fingers crossed, should be it. It should just come right out. And then we'll fix it. We'll fix all the lines, fix all the metal. And it feels like there's like a ton of them here. They're hard to see. It's, this is where it's gonna get really annoying, I feel like, because it's hard to tell the difference between a dent and a spot weld here. And I've already done some shit ass repairs here. came right up with a pry bar. I didn't have to cut, grind, or nothing. That's so fucking lame. That is so lame, dude. This is just fucking, I mean, it's worse than I thought it was gonna be underneath there, but also not as bad. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I think, I think I'll have to fix or at least make my own repair for this. This part looks probably okay, but the A pillars on both sides are fucked, even all the way up to here. The good news is that I know I can really do a good job. I can recreate this radius with the plasma cutter relatively easy. It's gotta be strong, but it doesn't have to be insanely strong. So, like there's holes up here, there's pitting, so I'll have to cut away this entire section here, weld in a new piece, a couple new pieces of metal. I think I can do it. Kind of at that point where it's like, I might as well try the new shit. It's just sitting here anyway, and I don't have the money to send it to somebody else to fix it, so I might as well fucking give it a shot, and I know I can do better than this. And I have talked to Mechanic Superstore. I think we got a two bender lined up. So I'm gonna be building, I think, at least a half cage. The way I think I'm gonna do it is I'll build support plates down here and then just build the, the cage through here. Uh, run them along the inside of the doors. Do some structural supports right here-ish, this general area. Cause we're not worrying about AC, we're not worrying about heat. And then send a rod that goes through here into the uh, the subframe in its own supports. I think that's the way to do this, I, I, I think. So it's actually kind of a good thing that we have to pull this off because that's gonna give me a good idea of what's going on down in there and then I'll be able to run tubing through there. So I think that's gonna work out really well. But I think the last bits are just the spot welds along here and they look relatively easy to access. I mean, these sucked, right? I fucked these all up because they're at an angle and I ended up drilling through the metal a couple times. I really, I really fuckered this side, but I know I can fix this. I'll straighten it up with it, some body hammers and uh, I'll fill the holes with weld. So it'll be like, it's never there. And like, I, I do have, I did initially have some worries about structural because you're A, you're heating the metal and B, you're bending the fuck out of it, right? Like I've obviously, I've bent the fuck out of it. This is a pinch, it is structural um, because I am throwing in a brand new repair panel. It's not rusted. I know it'll be stronger than before. And B, because I'm, I'm welding in some structural supports like a half cage, I think we don't have to worry about structural at all. Oh. 
See now, this section right here, it's hard to tell now that it's primed. <clears throat> Let me turn down my playlist here. But this whole section right here, from here to about here, is so fucked up that I don't really, I can't tell. It's like so pitted, I'm having a hard time telling where the spot welds are from the outside. So I'm just kind of prying, seeing where I can find connections like, I was able to break that with just prying it. I didn't even need to, it's, that's how rod the metal is. There's also like some sort of sealer or glue. Oh, thank God I just thought I couldn't clean all this. All right, that's not supposed to do that. I mean, it is because we're making it do that, but you normally wouldn't want that. Oh. Got a couple more down here I need to crack. When I got behind here, I was able to just to follow the individual spot welds from the back. This was actually the best way for me to find the ones that I couldn't find, was I spotted the ones that had the fucking dents behind them. If you fall one more time, you're going to timeout. God, that was ridiculous. All that for this. So now we can have a good look at what's in here. Actually, that wasn't, take me about two and a half hours, two, about two and a half hours to pull that off. It being my first time, you know, like doing that. The only reason I understand how to do this is because a buddy of mine showed me on the dually when we were doing repairs to the dually. And uh, that's the only reason I have any inkling as to what this is. I'll be honest, I didn't even watch a YouTube video before I did this. That was, that was big dumb. But we have some metal that is still connected here, so we'll grind those bits down. There's some areas that I blew through, like right there, we'll weld those full. And obviously before we put on the new piece, we will have to clean the surfaces of everything. And then I'm probably gonna spray it with weld through primer. So that way when I uh, go on a repair piece here, I'll drill a bunch of holes along here and along up there. And we'll just lay that over here and then weld it to the new spots. So we have a, we have a good bit of work to do for this. And I don't know if I wanna put this new piece back on yet because if I'm running a roll cage, if I'm gonna build a roll cage, it might be kind of convenient to have access to this. I don't know yet. As a matter of fact, this might be a good place to stop while we're ahead because this, t this was completely outside of stuff that I've ever done. I've never done any work like this before. So this is a huge step for me, a huge step for Dan, a giant leap for Dan kind. Let's see if this will fit on there. I should just sit on top of it right now and then we'll have to make our adjustments. Hey. Hey, that's pretty good. And another thing that I need to probably remember is that, you know, this car was built in the 70s and this reproduction panel was built in the two, like the, 20, the 2020s. So I assume it's not gonna fit like identically, it's not gonna fit perfectly, right? So we're probably gonna have to modify where it mounts on the car and maybe the panel a little bit to make sure it sits in properly, it fills the gaps like it's supposed to. But I think it's gonna do what we need it to do. It's like this doesn't seat perfectly, you know? It's got like a little bit of a gap. It's raised a little bit. And this, this looks like it may have gotten bent in shipping a little bit because it does not match the other side. So I'll have to, I'll just have to adjust that, you know, kind of bend it back out. That fits a good bit better, but we still, we will still need to make that work. Yeah, this side's gonna, I'll have to pull that out a little bit more and I'll probably have to roll these edges a little bit more. But this side is, this side is actually very respectable. Um, once I clean this up a little bit, pull these lines back up, this will look fucking amazing. What I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to provide like consistent videos on this, decent updates. I don't want it to sit around like it has in the in the history in the past history. So in order to keep content coming, I'm just gonna kind of do this when I can in between orders because I am doing orders right now as well. So it's probably gonna be a lot of this like bodywork stuff for a couple of episodes. Um, I also need to put my engine and transmission in. Matter of fact, that'll be. That'll be next episode too. Cause what I'll do is I'll put the engine mounts in, drop the engine in, mount the transmission up to the bell housing, mount that all back up to the car. And then that will dictate whether or not we need to modify the trans tunnel at all to accommodate the T56. Even though I don't think we'll have to because like a 4L60E or like a, T, a turbo 400, those are pretty big. Those are pretty bulky. And a T56 is small. This little boy is small right here. So we'll see, we'll see. Also, uh, thank you Speedway Motors for sending out those repair panels. Very much appreciated. Link for them is in the description. Uh, they sent out all these repair panels. So, um, much appreciated.
I wouldn't have been able to do without them. So go check them out. Thank you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Salutations. <laughs>